<laughs> so, balance changes. People hate them. For the past few months, it seems that Afterthought has done everything in their power to piss everyone off. Whether it's the three-ton Dibble that can't be killed by anything, the completely nerfed Carno that is somehow awful and overpowered at the same time, or the random-ass decisions to make Bipey slower than a snail on the surface of the water, despite that being its only fucking job. Or making Pteranodon a goddamn ground predator, despite the fact that it's a specialized fisher, and this exists. Everything is pretty much in the worst spot it's ever been, and I want to discuss why I don't vibe with that. You see, I typically don't discuss balance changes because they're either too minuscule to be worth mentioning, or change so often that the stated information will be outdated the second it gets posted. On top of that, I also don't give a shit. But now I do, because the balance changes that have been taking place are a part of a fundamentally flawed logic system that the devs need to stop utilizing. The current state of the Isles balance is akin to the permanence of a bouncy castle in 21st century Florida, and I have a lot of issues with that. Constantly changing abilities and stats for each playable is a horrible long-term solution, and seeing as it's been going on for months now with no sign of stopping, I'm very concerned that it will stay this way for the foreseeable future. For people not being able to know how well their favorite dinosaur will fare in any given patch is bad enough, but when it's to this extent in a game where most people simply log in and hope for the best, the amount of frustration building up in the community is palpable. Constantly changing the way things are removes any sense of satisfaction or assurance someone can get from growing a dinosaur. An ability they learned to master may be completely reworked or removed, the thing might be shrunk by a third out of nowhere, or it may lose the ability to do the one thing it's supposed to be good at. Why play a game where nothing matters? Where anything you've worked hard for can be ruined in an instant, forcing you to wait for the next patch in the hopes that it might get fixed. That isn't enjoyable, and it certainly isn't sustainable. Helldivers 2 lost a massive amount of player base and a lot of its credibility from doing the exact same thing. They constantly ruined guns that worked well, and never did anything about the problems that plagued the balancing from day one. Everything changed constantly, and eventually players got sick of it and moved on. Granted, the Isle isn't a PvE, but arguably it's even more important that things stay the same in a game like the Isle. How can you possibly hope to fairly balance something if you randomly change it all within weeks of releasing it? Players won't know which dinosaurs will be good anymore, and will most likely pick up just a few of the strongest ones that they know how to survive, making the game boring for just about everyone. And on top of this, constantly changing the balance can only make things worse for you and the community. People will always disagree with change, even if it's good for the game. Adding more and more hostility in such a short period of time will do a lot of damage if left unchecked, even if all of these changes are being made for the right reasons. Not only are the devs nerfing things instead of buffing them, but they're also reworking or completely obliterating the identity that each playable had. This will only serve to divide the community and prevent people from enjoying what they have, because the threat of that enjoyment being uprooted at any moment is always looming. I do understand that you can't simply copy what the community wants into the game. For the most part, the devs are the experts. However, just about no one asked for any of these changes, and I must wonder why Dondi even cares so much about the changes in the first place. Packy and Dryo have only been nerfed since their introduction to the game, are played by nobody, and have been entirely left behind by Afterthought and the community as a result. If these balance changes are so necessary, why are there so many obvious issues with playables that are simply being ignored? Why is nothing being done to them? A lot of the changes have been made for different reasons, but the main one I've seen is preparation for Aloe, Rex, and Trike, and that has to be the dumbest shit I've ever heard. If I understand correctly, these changes can be made near instantly, and should not be preemptively changed for something that is still months away from release. The game needs to be balanced for what it is now, not what it's going to be. That's a ridiculous philosophy that can only prevent people from wanting to play the game. So what do we do about this? Honestly, nothing at all. If Dondi and Afterthought as a whole just focuses their resources on actual important stuff and just leaves the balance alone for even a couple of months, things will die down and become fun again. 
Yes, there will be clear balance issues, but that's the beautiful thing. They will be obvious and easily fixable after that short hiatus. Giving the balance some time to breathe will ultimately give players a chance to bring the issues to light and help the devs understand what needs to be changed. But anyways, I know this is more of a rant than a structured criticism, and that's more because I just want to know how all of you feel about this. Do you think the changes are fair, or have they been really disappointing? As always, I want to be clear that I don't hate the aisle or the dev team. I know they're just trying things out, but it baffles me that they are still messing with things we simply don't agree with as a collective. Thank you for watching, I'll have more videos coming soon, and have a wonderful day bro.